Hey guys, welcome back to Rated RPG. Ray here, and I'm happy to see you. I figured now would be a pretty good time to talk about Resident Evil and just how much I hate myself for kicking my camera. So, Resident Evil, something I got into earlier this year. Something I have just fallen head forward, heels first, whatever you want to say, head over heels, that's what it's called, into, and I love every second of it. I still haven't played all the games, I'm still way behind in getting caught up in the series, but I'm working on it, okay? But I'm glad that the series is apparently doing very well. Before we get into the meat of this, however, I'm going to show us some things (laughs) that I bought. So, Resident Evil 2 for the N64, cool, right? I can do you better. Resident Evil 2 for the GameCube. Cool, right? I can do you better. Resident Evil 3 for the GameCube. Cool, right? I can do you better. Resident Evil Long Box for the PlayStation 1. Complete in box, manual, and everything. Terrible glue and everything. Isn't that pretty? So... I'm all in on Resident Evil, if you haven't figured that out. And I just bought, and it should be shipped any day now, the DS version of the Resident Evil 1 game, Resident Evil Deadly Silence. I'm especially happy to be getting a hold of that very soon. Resident Evil's doing well. If you have not seen the latest charts, apparently Resident Evil 3, despite being divisive for many people, is doing well. And I'm happy about that. When the Resident Evil 3... Reimagining came out. I played it. I honestly loved it. I think it's great. Jill is an amazing character. She is an amazing hero. She uh, has a great ass. But that game was very divisive. How divisive, though? A lot of people took it down because it was not carbon copy the same as the original Resident Evil 3, which is understandable so long as you don't take into account that everything since 7 is basically reboot territory. I love the game. And apparently enough people have loved it that it's doing very well for Capcom. Apparently it has now sold a total of 2.7 million copies. That's not going to hit Ghost of Tsushima numbers by the time this is all done. That's not going to hit uh, Last of Us Part 2 numbers, but that's still pretty good. Especially for a game that only came out a couple months ago. Oh, jeez, April, right? It feels... Quarantine has felt so long, guys. It's felt longer than it actually is. I actually almost can't believe that game came out this year. So, 2.7 million units sold. That's great. I'm glad it has sold well. And that puts the total sales for the series, Resident Evil series, at now over 100 million let's see lifetime series sales hit 103 million now i don't know specifically what they're using to factor that in is that just mainline entries resident evil zero through seven is that factoring in all of the remakes the spinoffs are we including resident evil survivor resident evil light gun uh the game boy color game resident evil gaiden which i intend to get at some point uh There's a lot we don't know. Does this include Operation Raccoon City? Does this include Outbreak Files? Who knows? I don't know that. But the fact is that this is a fantastically selling series, and I hope that it keeps going strong. We are hoping to get some more Resident Evil 8 news soon, fairly And uh, we don't know a lot about it yet. We just know that it's going to be having our... Resident Evil 7 character Ethan Winters returning, and who knows what's going on with Chris, who's a man of many faces, but hopefully it's going to be interesting, hopefully it's going to be a good game, and hopefully it does well, and then we can get Resident Evil 9 as soon as possible, hopefully starring Jill again, because I need me some more Jill. Jill is great. So, that's going to top this off, this was just a quick appreciation of Resident Evil, and I'll see you next time. Later. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Rated RPG. I appreciate you checking out the channel. 
Be sure to hit that like button if you liked what you saw, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit that bell icon for notifications so you can get all the latest updates from Rated RPG.